Talmud Bavli, Gemara Brachot, Herkrishon, Daf Yud Bet Bet 12b, from the top. Uh, so the Gemara is going to demonstrate how one should bear. Rav Sheshe Ki Kara, when Rav Sheshe bowed, Kara Ki he would bow like a rod, a rod that is swung downward in one swift motion. Ki Ka Zakif, and when he straightened up, Zakif Ki Chivya, he would straighten up like a snake, raising first his head and then the rest of his body. Bama Rabba Bar Chinana, Saba Mishmei De Rav, Rabba Bar Chinina, the elder, said in the name of Rav, Kola Shana Kula, throughout the year, Adamit Palel Ha'el HaGadosh, a person prays uh, Ha'el HaGadosh. Uh, that's the concluding phrase of the third bracha. Melech HaHev Tzedakah Mishpat, the king who loves righteousness and judgment. Chutz Ma'asara Yamim Shabain Rosh Hashanah V'Yom Kippurim, except for the ten days between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Shemir Palel HaMelech HaKadosh VeHamelech HaMishpat. And when one prays, uh, the holy king... He, he uses uh, the Holy King and the King of Judgment in place of the usual. The Rabbi Lazar Amar, I feel Amar Hayal Hakadosh Yatzai. Even if one said the Holy God during uh, during this Aser uh, Aser uh, Yamim, between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, uh, Yatzai, he has discharged. Shneimah, for it says, Vigba Hashem Tzvaot Mishpat. Hashem, Master of Legions, will become exalted through judgment. Vayal Hakadosh Nikdash. Bitzaka and the Holy God will be sanctified through justice. When uh, Hashem, Master of Legions, will become exalted through judgment. When does that apply? These ten days from Rosh Hashanah until Yom Kippur, when God judges the world, yet the verse states the Holy God. So, which is, uh, therefore, it's appropriate. My Havala, what's the, how do you resolve this? Ama Rav Yosef, Ha'el HaKadosh HaMelech HaHev Tzakah Mishpat, the Holy God and the King who loves righteousness and judgment, uh, Rav Amar, HaMelech HaKadosh VeHamelech HaMishpat, the Holy King and the King of Judgment during the ten days, VeHilach Tzakah Rabba, and the Halacha follows Rabba. Ma'amar Rabba Bar Chinana, Sava Mishmei De Rav, and Rabba Bar Chinana, the elder, said in the name of Rav, Anyone who has the opportunity to ask God for mercy on behalf of his fellow, the Enom of Akeshan does not ask, he's called a sinner, for it is stated, And I also, far be it for me to sin against Hashem, to refrain from praying on your behalf. I'll just scroll down at this point. We're just past halfway, or approximately halfway, in the first section. So on the screen we're going from Amar Rabba, halfway down the middle section. Amar Rabba, Rabba said, "Im If the person who is in need of mercy is a Torah scholar, Tzarech Shechale Atzmo Alav, and one is required to make himself ill on his behalf." My tama, what is the reason? Il ilema. Just going back to my tama, what's the reason that you have to make yourself ill on behalf of a, a Torah scholar? Ilema mishum dichtiv. You'll say because it's written ve'en chole mikem alai ve'gole et azni, and none among you is sick for me or reveals to me and that my son is inside of my servant to rise up and ambush me. Dilma melech shani. Perhaps a king is uh, a king is different. Ela mehacha, rather, the proof is from here, vani bachalotam levoshe vegome. But as for me, when they were ill, my clothing was, my clothing was sackcloth and I flipped myself with, with fasting. Rama Rabba Barachinana, Sava Mishmei Dirav, and Rabba Barachinana, the oldest in the name of Rab, Kolha se deva avera umit bayesh, for anyone who commits a sin and is embarrassed of it, Mochalin lo al kol avonotav is forgiven for all his sins. Shnema, lemantis keri uvoshed, in order that you remember and be ashamed, velo yelach od pitron pe mipne 
klimatech, and so that you no longer have an excuse because of your humiliation. When I forgive you for all that you have done, Neum Hashem Elokim, the word of Hashem God. Dilma Tiboshani, perhaps an entire congregation is different. Ela Mahaka, rather from here, where your mayor Shmuel El Shaul, Shmuel said to Shaul, Lama Hir Gaz Tani Lehalot Oti, why did you disturb me to raise me up? Luyuma Shaul Tarli, Meod of Flishtim. Nilchamim bi. Saul replied, I'm in great distress, and the Plishtim are at war against me. Elokim sar malei malei velo anani od. God has turned away from me and does not answer me anymore. Gam biyad ha nevim gam bechalumot. Neither through the hand of the prophets nor in dreams. Ekre ekra e lecha lo dieni ma ese. So I called upon you to inform me what I should do. Ve ilu orim betumim lo kamab. Now Shaul did not mention the orim betumim. Mishum de Katle Lenov Lenov Ir Hakanim because he was embarrassed they had massacred Nov the residents of Nov the city of Kanim. Uminain da Hilo Le Min Shmaya. And from where do we know that he was forgiven by by um by the heaven for this? Shinema for it stated Vayomashmuel El Shaul Humacha Talvanecha Limi and Shmuel said to Saul Tomorrow you and your children with me. Vamar Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan said, Imi bim chitzati, with me in my enclosure. That's my enclosure in Gan Eden. Since Saul was destined to enter, the, in, enter Gan Eden, occupied by Shmuel, his sins must have been forgiven. Rabbanan, Amri Me'achan, Rabbi say, from here, Vahokanum la Hashem Give'at Shaul Bechir Hashem, and we will hang them for the sake of Hashem in the Giba of Shaul, the chosen of Hashem Yatzta, Batkol Vamra Bechir Hashem. Meaning a heavenly voice emanated and proclaimed that uh, Shaul is the chosen of Hashem. Ama Rabbi Abba who ben Zutati, Ama Rabbi Yoda Bar Zevida, Rabbi Abba who ben Zutati in the name of Rabbi Yoda Bar Zevida. Bikshu Likboa Prashat Balak Bikriyat Shma. They sought to establish the passage of Balak in the reading of Shma. Umipne Malo Kavuha Kavuha. And why did they not establish it? Mishum Torah Tibor. Because of the burden on the congregation because of its length. Maitama, what's the reason? That they wanted to establish it. Ilema Mishum Dichtiva. If you'll say, because it's written in the passage, El Motiam Mitzrayim, God brought them out of Egypt. Lema Parshat Ribit, or Parshat Mishkalot. Then we should say the passage about um, the prohibition of usury and the passage about making honest weights. Dirtiv, Bahenit Yat Mitzrayim, for Exodus from Egypt is written in them. They're in those passages as well. El Amar Rabbi Asibar Avin Rabbah. Rabbi Yosef Barabin said, "Mishum de Tiba Hai Kra, because the following verse is written in it: Kara Shachav Kari Uchlavi Min Mi Yeki Menu. He crashed and lay down like a lion, and like a lion cub, like a lion cub who can stand him up, and like a lion cub who can stand him up. Vilema Hai Psukav Vetulo. Then let us say that verse and no more." Which is not a burden on the congregation. Kimira, we have a tradition. Kol parasha defasaka, defaska, Moshe Rabbeinu paskinan. And any passage of the Torah that Moshe teaches divided, we may divide. De lo paska Moshe Rabbeinu lo paskinan. And anything that Moshe our teacher did not divide, we may not divide. So the passage of Balak is undivided in the Torah, and we may not divide it for our Shema. Parashat tzitzit mipnei ma kavu keva uha. Why did they establish the passage of tzitzit in Shema? I'll just scroll down. So we're halfway down the the wide section, the middle section. So we're just here. Middle of the uh, white section. So, why did they establish the passage of Tzitzit? 
נשמע. אמר רבי יהודה בר חביבה, רבי יהודה בר חביבה סיין, מפני שיש בה חמישה דברים, because it contains five things. מצוות ציצית, כמה מנות ציצית, יציאת מצרים, the exodus from Egypt, all מצוות, the yoga commandments, ודת מינים, and uh, to be aware of heretical or idolatrous opinions, הרהור עבירה, and sinful thoughts, והרהור עבוד עזרה, and idolatrous thoughts. וישלמה הנצלת מפרשן, Sorry, I just lost my place because there was thunder and I made a bracha over the thunder with my daughter. So I'm going back to uh, just uh, from where we scroll down from Bishlama. Bishlama Hane Tlat Miparshan. Your answer is understandable in regard to three things because uh, they are stated explicitly in the passage. All mitzvot yichtiv, the yoke of mitzvot, mitzvot as it is written, or item or tos chatem et kol mitzvot, Hashem, that you may see it and remember all the commandments of Hashem, tzitzit yichtiv, tzitzit as it is written, basul lahem tzitzit vagomer, they are to make themselves tzitzit, yitzit mitzvot yichtiv, the exodus from Egypt, as it is written, asher ha tzitzit vagomer, who took you out, etc. vagomer, ela da'at minim hirhur avira vihirhur avadazara. But, uh, for the need to be aware of heretical opinions, sinful thoughts, and idolatrous thoughts, Menalan, from where do we derive these things? Titania was taught in a brisa, Achrei levavchem zo minut. So after your heart, this is, so Achrei levavchem, this is in reference to heresy. The chen hu amer, and similarly scripture says, Amar la nava belibo ein elokim, the greater man says in his heart, there is no God. Achrei nechem, after your eyes, this is in reference to sinful thoughts. Shneemar is the state of Yom HaShimshon al-Aviv, and Samson said to his father, Otakachli kihi yeshara ve'enai, take her for me, for she is fitting in my eyes. Atem zonim, after which you go astray. Zehirhur avodah zara, this is in reference to idolatrous thoughts. Ve'chen hu omer, similarly the Torah says, Ve'yiznu achrei habalim. And they went astray after the Baalim. Mishnah. Maskrini Yetziyat Mitzrayim Belelot. We mentioned the Exodus from Egypt at night. Uh, that's uh, the third passage of the, Sh- of the Shema. Ama Rabbi Lazar ben Azariah. Harei ani keven shivim shana. I'm like a 70-year-old man. Belo zachiti shetamer Yetziyat Mitzrayim Belelot. Yet I did not prevail. That one must mention the Exodus from Egypt at night. Ad she drasha ben zama until ben zama explained this law. Shneimar lamant is korat yom hatzed cha me eretz mitzrayim kol yemecha yecha that you may remember the day when you came out of Egypt all the days of your life. Yemecha yecha hayamim the days of your life. Uh, we draw the requirement to mention the Exodus during the days. Kol yemecha yecha lelot from the superfluous all the days of your life. Um, the nights. The Chachimim Urim, but the sages say, Yemei Chayecha Alam Azeh, the days of your life. Um, we derive there is a crime to mention the exodus from Egypt in this world before Mashiach. Kol Le'avi, Kol Le'avi Limot HaMashiach. All is to include uh, the mention of the Messianic era. Gemara. Tanya, Ustot Nebraisa, Amar Lahem Ben Zomer LaChachamim, Will we mention the exodus from Egypt in, in the Messianic era? But has it not already been said, Behold, days are coming. The word of Hashem. When people will no longer swear as Hashem lives, who brought the children of Israel up from the land of Egypt. But rather, as Hashem lives, who brought up and brought back the offspring of the house of Israel from the land of the north. And from all the lands wherein he had dispersed them. Amrullah, the sages replied, Not that the mention of the Exodus from Egypt will be uprooted from its place. Um, that is discontinued completely, but rather that uh, the mentioning of redemption from the dominion of foreign kingdoms will be primary. And the mention of Exodus from Egypt will be secondary to it. 
יוצא בו אתה אומר, שימו לי יוסי, לא יקרא שמך עוד יעקב, כי עיניים שאולנו לא נגבי קול יעקב, כי אם ישראל יהיה שמך בישראל שלו יונאים. 